Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Dex Lab Analytics. My name is Neharika Rai and in this particular video, I'll be talking about the basic queries in MongoDB for which you will need the latest version of MongoDB Compass which has MongoDB shell. Uh, so without wasting any further time, let's get started. So here is the latest version of my MongoDB with a MongoDB SH beta shell. So I click on that and you see that there is a uh, we get a shell kind of a structure here we will be writing our mongodb codes so um, we have already uh, we have i have already explained you how to connect your uh, mongodb compass with your atlas or the cluster which you have created in my previous video so if you haven't watched my previous video you go ahead click on the i icon on the top right hand side corner of your screen and you'll be directed to those videos now here i'll be explaining you various functions and methods and operators uh, to extract your data or to query out your data in particular so the first uh, so first thing we need to do is we need to select our database so so for using our database or for selecting our database i'm going to write use use and for this particular um, uh, section i'll be using the database called sample sample underscore training press enter and you'll see that we've uh, we can see that there is a switch to db sample training written here that means our database has been selected now if you want to um, see what all collections you have you can write show collections enter again and for your benefit i'll just go ahead and stretch this out upwards so that you can see or the entire screen so here i have um, after writing this particular query query that is show collections i have i see that my collection has uh, or the number of collections are posts trips zips companies inspections routes or routes and grades now if i want to query out or extract data from a particular collection i have to use a find function which can be written as db dot your collection name so my collection name is companies i'll be using companies so companies and dot find the best thing about this particular uh, shell is that it prompts you which functions uh, you are um, you're about to use so find and here you go now what i want to do is i want to um, extract uh, the data of from the company's uh, or the document from the company's collection which has the name wet paint so for that i'm going to mention a curly braces and within that curly braces first i'm going to mention the name of the field which i want to match so name is the the column name or the field name in this particular uh, query will be oh, name and so i want that company's document which has the name wet paint so i'll write the value as wet paint and after that you'll end the curly braces and the parenthesis and press enter once you do that you see that on the screen you get the data list here i have let's check if let's check if my uh, name is correct or not in this sense it's a pretty long data which we have been yeah so here you go you have name wet paint and the data relates to the wet paint company so the field name has to be has to be written first and uh, within the quotations and then after that just like in python dictionaries we write it will be similar to that and then write 
the name of the company so as it easy it is now what I want to do is there is another method called pretty which prettifies the result which we just have seen so I am going to write this entire code and then press again full stop pretty what it is going to do is it it is going to uh, make this entire document a little bit more readable once we do that press again enter and there is no error that means our code is fine and here you go here all the codes are now more visible to us than before and you can read this entire structure by yourself and that's that now to be more specific what I want to do is I want to see how many documents it actually retrieve my code actually retrieve so I'm pressing the upwards arrow key removing this pretty method or function and then I'm going to write count so because I want to see how many documents on the basis of this name company's name I was able to retrieve so for that I'm using dot count method or function then again I'm pressing enter and the result is one that means there is only one document related to a company that is called wet paint so we got one document the above code find curly braces parenthesis curly braces double quote name wet paint dot count gave us one document this is similar to equals to if you're mad comparing the result it is equals to that so now what we want to do is we want to further go ahead and see what are comparison operators or comparison uh, methods do we have in um, MQL so for that what I'm going to do is I'll start with the same query okay and instead of using um, instead of using companies here okay first of all let's clear out this entire screen so for that what we are going to do is we are going to press CTRL and L that will clear the screen so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use zips collection so DB dot zips dot find now I want to see if my pop I want to see all the document count of all the documents which have population less than 10 or equal to 10 say so again using curly braces population now pop is the field name okay which is in the document we have so population colon again curly braces within population I want to match all those documents or I want to extract the count of all the documents that have population equals to 10 so for that use dollar sign and use EQ and then again from with, with what value we want to match that is 10 here so here we get equals to 10 dot outside the parenthesis count and press enter here you go so we see that we have second seven documents in relation to this particular query that means there are there are seven documents that have population equals to 10 so if we remove that if we remove that then let's remove this um, count query and press 
enter here you go so one of the examples here is population 10 and this is the second second document which has again the population 10 and this this is the third document that is that has population 10 and so on and so forth few of the values are here as well so we have seven documents and the result is like that again to prettify this result let's again press ctrl to clear out this entire sheet dot pretty enter here you go since the document does not have many inbuilt documents it is showing us the result like that if it would add if it would have been a larger document we would have seen uh, differences more clearly so try it yourself and then you can see the difference in furthermore in any other collection as well so let's now use the same query as before removing the um, pretty pretty function again writing count I'm going to change this equals to sign with greater than function now what I what what we are writing here is that find out or extract the documents which have population greater than 10 and give us a count of that okay so let's press enter here so we have uh, approximately 29,000 documents which have population greater than 10 now to write greater than you use GT for equals to for exact match you use EQ and for greater than equal to you use G T E and then again press enter greater than equal to here you see we there is a very slight difference where you the above code result is 29342 and this particular um, code gives us 29349 that means in between there are um, few documents which have uh, which were missed in this particular portion because of the equal to um, query now what we have to now if you want to check less than 10 what we can do is we can again change this query to less than equal to enter and see that we have 121 documents whose population is less than in zips collection whose population is less than one to, uh, less than 10 here so now we want to see the population less than equal to that means even if it is 10 then also give us the result of the count so we can use again e l t e and press enter so we have 128 documents now now suppose if you don't know how to um, you don't know uh, a what a particular collection have has in a document so what a what kind of a document a particular uh, collection has so what you can do is instead of writing find first check what document uh, are there in zips collection so for that again i'm going to use db find and instead of using find i'm going to use find one which gives us the result of only one uh, gives extracts the result of only one document so here we just uh, enter the this code and we get in the zips collection the first document would be this particular document okay which has city name zips location in the form of again um, a dictionary you can say and here we have a population or a document in itself a document within a document population and state so find one gives us only the only one document from a collection here 
so now again if you want to extract um, if you want to see uh, how many um, documents are related to the city alpine again we can use zips collection use find then curly braces and write city here and then in within quotations in capital write l pine and dot count and enter eight documents related to alpine here and if you want to only print the document if you want the document to be printed you can again remove this count and you will be good to go all the eight documents will be printed now again let's clear our screen ctrl and here you go we have our screen cleared so now what if i want to insert something in a document um, say i want to insert a document with certain values say so if i want to include a document in a collection i want to insert another document in a collection what i'm going to do is again i'm in i'll be inserting a new document in zips collection and i'm going to write insert here and insert what curly braces say country country single quotation india and let's say city delhi i want to insert this particular document once i do that and press enter the result says that this has been included and now what we can do we can again with the help of a find query see if the country india document is there or not so db removing this instead of insert we will use find command and within curly braces we write country quotation india and we run that here you go we have a country india and city delhi document inserted in our zips collection now you see that there is an id added to this particular collection that is a unique id by default which is added to the collection now if you want to include your own personal id what you can do is again this time country is uh, india and i want the city to be we want to include city as city as gurga within quotations or there will be an error gurga and i'm going to include an id that is within quotations underscore id a b and c and we also would like to exclude find and write insert let's press enter okay here it says there is a duplicate key and every key has to be unique so if you see this kind of an error change the id since the id is repetitive we are going to write a b c d here so that the id changes now the error is removed and our new data has been inserted now what we want to do is 
we want to find this data on the basis of id so remove this within quotations we have id equals to this and we are going to use the find method or function here so we want to extract the data which has id a b c d press enter here you go we have the inserted data as id a b c d country india city gurgaon hence the data has been inserted now let's put this entire query and use dot count method and press shift enter here you go we have only one document with the name with the id a b c d in our zips collection so that brings us to the end of this particular session if you like this video please click on the like button also click on the share button and share it with your friends click on the subscribe button so that you are already always um, uh, so that you are always notified when we uh, update our videos here also click on the bell icon for the same we are uh, if you want to contact us or learn more about text lab analytics and or mongodb or python or machine learning anything as such you can visit our website www dexlabanalytics.com you can also mail us at hello at the rate dexlabanalytics.com or you can call us or whatsapp us on the given numbers on the screen we are currently placed in gurgaon so bye bye take care hope you have a great day ahead